So because of the very stringent and limited treatment guidelines that have come out of the Infectious Disease Society of America dating back to 2005, 2006, 2007, published, um, most standard societies, uh, rheumatology societies, neurology societies, infectious disease societies throughout the world have basically said, uh, we all have got together and we've put together consensus guidelines that we agree with limited treatment for Lyme disease. Uh, and even the most recent 2016 Swiss guidelines repeat exactly what was said in 2005, 6, 7, 8 in the IDSA documents that there is no such thing as chronic Lyme. Uh, if you're still sick after treatment, it's PTLDS, uh, post-treatment Lyme disease syndrome. But there are a group of doctors who have treated patients uh, according, according to alternative guidelines. And one of these groups is the International Lyme and Association Disease Society. So they put together evidence-based uh, recommendations based on new studies, not studies from 2008, but studies that have been put together ever since that time. And they recommend four to six weeks automatically with, with antibiotics for an EM rash. And then they also recommend treating patients till all the symptoms have resolved and retreat if the symptoms recur. So this, this is quite straightforward to me. I treat, I treat cellulitis this week, I treat bone infections this week, I, the right way I treat tuberculosis this way. Um, tuberculosis, you rec we recommend six months of treatment, but there's a five to 10% relapse. If people have severe disease, it takes nine to 12 months to treat tuberculosis. So we should be treating patients and we should not be treating exclusively according to the guidelines. There is also a group called the European Centre for Disease Control and Prevention, ECDC, which is out of Sweden, and they've acknowledged on their web website that patients with late Lyme disease can benefit from treatment. Um, they also understand in their websites that there, there's a lot of key areas of uncertainty, and they also comment that further improvements in diagnostic tests are required. However, uh, most of the UK and Irish websites continue to say our tests are perfect, we only accept our tests and the treatment is se severely limited and if you go beyond the NICE guidelines then, then you're in uh, default uh, of the system a and patient GPs have been uh, punished in the past for going beyond the guidelines. Fortunately that is changing but unfortunately patients who are well with a chronic infectious disease are being denied further therapy.